one. All right, guys, so I am here with the Lydia Hurst. We're so glad you're here. She is, you probably know her, a model and also one of the models slash coaches on Oxygen the Face. You probably get asked this a lot of being a model, but do you have like a go-to face or a blue steel if you're familiar with the Zoolander film? Of course, everybody knows and loves <laughs> Zoolander, but um, you know, it's interesting because fashion, it's changed over the years. When I first started, it was about very static posing and sort of that doll-like look where it's not that your eyes were dead, but your mouth was parted just a little bit and your eyes were very wide and open. And now, you know, it's more about having a personality and expressions and emoting and literally being someone that can almost step off the pages of the magazine and show your personality. So you have probably done some pretty crazy things in the name of fashion. What is the most painful thing you've ever had to go through? Um, you know, I would actually have to say, and this might sound a little weird, um, because I have such a small foot. I'm about a size five US. It's teeny tiny. And most girls in fashion are about a size 10, maybe 11. Yeah. So probably for every runway show I have ever done in my decade of modeling, I have super glued my feet into the shoes. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, wait, that, okay, that definitely is painful. It How is. do you get your feet out of the shoes afterwards? Um, well, one thing I did not know before I started doing this, I guess super glue uh, came to be because doctors used to use it to close wounds. So unfortunately, I found out the hard way when you first put it on your foot, it heats up. So it gets really hot and then you gotta shove it in your shoe really quick so it sticks. And then you're good to go on the catwalk. So at least your shoes will stay on and you probably won't trip, which thank goodness no one wants that to happen. <laughs> okay, whoa, that is amazing. You're so, right. Okay. Yeah, that's so, probably yeah. the most painful thing I have had to do for fashion, but I'm honestly. I'm glad you haven't done anything more painful <laughs> no. than that. What is one lesson that you have really come away with in your 20s? I, I gotta say, people really need to take care of themselves. It's extremely important to eat organic, and if you're, you know, don't do anything to the extreme. Because, you know, if you do go out and you have a glass of wine or you smoke that cigarette, it, it's all gonna show on your face. Like my mother always said, at 20 you have the face you were born with, and at 50 you get the face you deserve. And it is very true. That's brilliant. <laughs> I was worried that you were gonna say at 30, and I was like, oh. no. Being in the modeling industry, I think selfies are a big thing right now. Do you have any advice for people that want to take the perfect selfie for Instagram? You know, it's this is terrible and I hate to admit it. I am awful at taking selfies. It drives me crazy. I try get so out hard here. and I am awful. <laughs> like sometimes I can get it if I angle it right into the mirror, sort of looking back, but apart from that, I am the worst. That's why if you go on my Instagram or Twitter, there's almost no selfies. What is your biggest indulgence? And please don't say like pretzels or like ketchup. Um, okay, I have to say that I definitely have two. And the first one being Carl's Jr. I yes. am addicted to it. When I go there, I go all out with the burger, everything on it and the fries. I cannot get enough. I love you, that's so <laughs> great. And then the other thing would be a Betty Crocker classic yellow cake in a box with chocolate frosting. Not just for birthdays, but any time. Right, any, any reason to celebrate, I, I am whipping out one of those cakes and baking it up. So let's do our next interview, <laughs> please, while we're eating Carl's Jr. Yes, yes, and then a cake to celebrate, celebrate to the day. To celebrate the interview. <laughs>